from Pine Creek Doodles, where we are passionate about raising uh, healthy, happy puppies. Today, here I am with my big Bernice family here, starting with Macy over here, my AKC registered Bernice um, Mountain Dog. And here are two of her um, pups that I kept back from my breeding stock. Um, this here's Chloe. Um, she is, let me see, how old are you, Chloe? Are you two? You're three. I think you're close to three because I think Sachi's two. This is Sachi here. Yeah, I know you want to shake. And I'm not talking about you, am I? You want me to talk about you. She, um, so we will talk a little bit about, uh, this would be first generation of uh, Bernadoodles here. Um, she, uh, Chloe here is out of a, um, mini poodle um one of my friends and um they are not obviously not out of the same litter and they both got different dads so that's a little bit of what's the difference in their size chloe is uh, i think she's right around 40 pounds and um and Satchi's closer to 25 pounds but there's that being said chloe's also a year older than Satchi, so she's widen out a little bit, bulked up a little bit more. But I believe Chloe will always be a little heavier than Sachi. She's she's a little taller um, and a little wider. And they're both uh, pregnant with Olaf's puppies here. Um, so we're gonna have um, two litters. No, I'm sorry. This one's Olaf and this one's CJ. Sorry, Sachi. Saying the wrong thing, wasn't I? She's gonna have CJ puppies and we're super excited to see um, how these puppies will look. We've never had um, Sachi uh, bred with CJ. Uh, he is my AKC registered uh, Blue Merle uh, mini poodle. But Chloe so, was bred with CJ before, right? Had a Chloe had a litter. Her very first litter was with CJ. Yep. She had three puppies. Um, two of them were Blue Merle and one was a um, black and white. It was Oreo, it's remember? Website, yeah. yeah. So yeah, they are on the website there. Yep. So she did have a litter with a CJ, and then their next litter was with Olaf, and this one, this will be her third litter. Um, so she is due uh, to have puppies with Olaf again in early July, I believe. This will uh, be Sachi's second litter. Her first litter was with Olaf, and then now this time we'll have um, her being having puppies with CJ. So I think that'll be smaller puppies because CJ uh, weighs six pounds and Sachi weighs uh, the 20 to 25 pound area. So I roughly estimate those puppies could be as small as 10 to 20 pound range. 20 pound range yeah. yeah, because of CJ being uh, only six pounds. Yep. So we're excited to see uh, what those puppies will look like. Um, and Chloe's pups should be about what size, you think? Um, her being about 40 and uh, Olaf 15, they could be from 20 to 25 pounds, I think. And and then again, they could, yeah, some of them could be right around that 20 pound and, and maybe not a lot more. Yeah. Um, and that definitely depends, like I uh, always say, with if the puppies are real small when they're born, that's probably the way they'll mature. They'll be of the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. So. And um, as you can see, Chloe loves being loved. Don't you, Chloe? You love being loved. She is one of my friendliest moms. Um, she really surprised me when she had my, her first litter. Um, she was, um, oops. She was so gentle with her puppies. You can see she's pretty exuberant here, um, being happy and, um, and liking to be liked. Um, but she was super, uh, Super good mom, weren't you, Chloe? You surprised this mama, didn't you? And then her first litter, like I said, was three, and I think her last litter was 10 pups, and she did a great job. I was I was with her the whole time that she whelped, and, and you did a great job, didn't you? Um, she took really good care of them. She had lots of milk for them, which we, um, we always like to make sure that mom gets that extra special food when she um, is nursing her puppies and um, that helps her to have plenty of milk for her puppies. Right, Chloe? And they definitely, when they hear that bag rattle, um, I give them Bill Jacks, they are all excited, aren't you? They know what they're getting. I do give them uh, the Oxymama 
uh, vitamins um, on a daily basis uh, once they have whelped. And uh, try to keep on top of, of making sure they have plenty of milk for their little puppies. Right? And then, um, you know, I think for like, you know, if somebody's looking for a Verna doodle, I think the really nice thing that you have going is, you know, you have F an F1 litter, you have two F1B litters, and basically if, if you're looking for an F1B Verna doodle litter, I mean, you can all different sizes, you should be able right. to find what you're looking for. Exactly, because we have this variation with Macy's puppies yep. being a little bigger, and then Chloe's being that medium size, and then Sachi's being the smaller size. Yep. You're definitely right on that, Tyler. We do have the variation here. And with Olaf being um, the tri, uh, and his uh, genetics, they are all gonna be, pretty much all of them are tri-colored, some more than others, but most of them do have that tri-color in them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. Um, <laughs> I think they're warm today, what do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're just going at it, aren't you? Yeah, it definitely feels better here um, this week than it did last week. Yeah. I'm always a little worried about my pregnant moms when it gets really warm. I like, uh, they like to have water to play in and we do have um, a big water trough out where they can get in and I've seen them jump in there and just mm -hmm. play and cool off, right? Yeah. You guys really like that, don't you? Yeah. Uh, Bernice love water and a poodle does too, so. For sure. Yeah. And for all those people, if you're watching this video too, not to brag on Naomi, but you can just see how much her dogs <laughs> love her. You wow. know, they know each, they know Naomi just like she knows them. You, you know, so that's a really good thing to see from a breeder. Obviously, I help with the sales and everything, but Naomi takes good care of them and helps does everything else. So she does a super job. So well, be sure uh, to comment and let her know how good she does. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Yeah. I do love my dogs. Sometimes my family thinks I love my dogs better than them, but I tell them I, I love them the same. But. Um, I definitely like to spend time with my dogs, uh, get to know each one personally. That way, if someone has a question, you know, how's the personality of this puppy's mom, I can honestly tell them exactly what their personality is like mm -hmm. because I, I do spend a lot of time with, uh, with each dog. Right, Chloe? That's something my vet always tells me. You know every dog's name? And I'm like, of course, I know my kids' names too. Why shouldn't I know my dog's names? <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, and we're, we don't have as many dogs as, as um, maybe some of my vet's other clients do. So that also helps with getting to know each dog personally. And that's what I like about just being the small, um, on a small scale. No. Yeah. Right. For sure. So yes. just go over again when, when each litter should be due for all three litters. Well, let me They're see. All... Macy, come over here, Macy. Let's get you in the picture again. Come on, Macy. We'll start with Chloe. Maybe she'll decide to come over here. Here's Sachi. She is, I believe, Sachi, are you due the early July, I believe? And I think, mm -hmm. I think Chloe might be the last part of June, yeah, like 25th, the 25th or 26th. Yeah. And I believe Macy will be like on the 7th or 8th of July. And there she is over there hiding. I think she found a cool spot over there. All three close to each other. Yeah, they are. We're kind of excited to see the difference in the puppies, especially when they're born, because you can see. Did you want to get some attention too? Um, once, you know, when they're born, you can definitely see, oh, these are a little bit bigger, and then these are a little smaller. It's, mm -hmm. I love being there when they're, wet, when they're whelping. It's just uh, so exciting to see the birth of a, of a little puppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good. When Macy, what you have 12 puppies, 12 to 14 puppies, yes. that's a lot. Yeah, care. that is a lot of puppies. It's like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. And she did a great job. Um, and I think it's very important to be there. And I, I give them calcium uh, while they're whelping because that helps uh, keep their energy there. And just, um, it's just a great boost for, for the female since she, especially when they have 10 to mm -hmm. 12 puppies. It just helps to keep that energy right there. Uh, and I was there and offer them bowls of water because they do get warm and mm -hmm. tires them out. And yep. Yeah. And we have, I think, about two, for sure two for each litter. So there are still spots available, guys. You want to go to our website. It's a $200 deposit to place a reservation. Whether it's Chloe, Satcher, or Macy, there's still spots available. But we definitely already have quite a few um, spots filled too. Yes. So. 
Uh, feel free to give us a call. We'll answer any questions, and it's yet easy to sign up for us. So. Yes. Anything else, Naomi, on your burning doodles? I don't think so. I think um, anyone out there that um, is looking to adopt a Bernadoodle, these uh, puppies are going to be great um, Bernadoodle puppies for you guys, right? And I would love um, to see them adopted. To great, I, that's one of my favorite parts. When people, when I, when people come here and they adopt, they're like, "Don't you? Aren't you sad to see these puppies go?" I'm like, yes, I can't keep every puppy, but it just makes me so happy when I see a great family come and adopt a puppy, and they post mm -hmm. pictures, and and I, I see that the puppy's being loved and and well taken care of. Mm -hmm. That just, uh, I just love that. Mm -hmm. To sure. to see my puppies going out there and making another family happy because I know how much happiness uh, my dogs bring to myself and my family. My kids love to play with, with the puppies when they're born. They like to spend time with them. And um, yeah, sometimes one of my boys will say, Mom, I want to keep this one. I'm like, I know you'd love to keep this one, but there'll be more. And, and then they'll say, yeah. And they love that little new puppy. One of my guys, loves to sit in the whelping box with the little puppies. I found him fall asleep in there with puppies. So <laughs> he is, and that's Kyle, he just loves to be with my puppies. And I think it's great for the puppies, you know, to get oh, yeah. used to being handled by little kids. Mm -hmm. And it's- At that young of age, for Yes, sure. definitely. So if you like the content here today, um, subscribe below and we'll see you another day.